Hi everyone, my name is Chitra. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys eight transition ideas that you can do by yourself with no tripod. Let's get into the video. We're going to be going through eight transitions that you can shoot by yourself with no tripod. So all these transitions, there's not going to be a model or anyone in it. You might be displaying your hand in the shot, um, but there, again, like I said, no tripod, no other person needed to help you shoot it. You can use this for travel transitions or you can use this for your small business or if you have a any kind of a blog, a lifestyle blog, where you just want to show a before and after of something or a transition for something as well. For the video, I'm going to go through and share with you guys each of the ideas. However, if you want a more in-depth tutorial for anything, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll make a separate video for that, which I'll also link in the description box below. And then also, of course, if you guys are students for the Reels Mastery course, you will know that all of the transitions are available there and they're like have like full length how to shoot and a full length video on how to edit and put it together as well. The first transition that we have is a cover uncover. This is basically where you cover your lens with something and then uncover it. You can use your hand to cover the lens. You can use a product. You can use any other type of material. Let's have a look at some examples for this. The second transition is the tap transition. So there's a few ways that you can do this. You can tap on a surface of something or you can tap up in scenery. It works really well if you have a product that you're trying to display or a scene change, a change in your room, a change in your location. Let's have a look at some of the examples. Transition number three is the humble click transition. Again, if you want to change locations, add some props, add in a product, this is a really great transition to have. I love to do a really, it's like I feel like a click transition is really seamless. It's always like a trending thing. It's a really good one to just know how to do, whether you are traveling or within your small business. It's just such an easy transition to have. Here are a couple of examples where we have used this transition. The fourth one is what I like to call the hide and seek. So basically you're going to have your phone and you're going to hide it behind an object and then it's going to appear and reveal the scene. Here are a couple of examples of this transition. The fifth is called what I like to call at least the rotate. And for a while, I was using this transition with everything, whether I was traveling, showing coffee, showing clothes, whatever it is, I love doing this particular transition. Here is a look at how this one goes. The sixth transition that we have is called the whip. And basically you can whip in any direction, up, down, left, right. You just have to make sure that when you're doing the transition, that the first clip and the second clip matches up properly. Here's a couple of examples of the whip transition. Number seven is the zoom in and the zoom out. This is similar to cover uncover, except instead of covering the lens with your hand, you're going to be moving your phone closer and further away from the object. So moving your phone to zoom in and moving your phone to zoom out. Here is a look at this transition. The final transition idea that I have is called the bounce. So basically you can do this with a pan shot or a static shot and you would do a little bounce movement with your hand to change the scene or change the product, have something appear or disappear. cover the full tutorials of how to do each of these transitions in the Reels Mastery course. For some of them, you can also find a mini tutorial on Instagram just to give you a little bit of an idea. But today, I hope I have inspired you to go out there and create some Reels solo. Even if you don't have a tripod or a remote clicker or a friend to help you, there are some transitions that are really fun that you can create by yourself. I will see you guys next week. Bye.